I'm gonna do a video that's a little bit different today. We're gonna do a reaction video. And the reason why we're doing this is someone sent me a question about those stim devices that you see. And it started off with a Denise Richardson video. I'm gonna go over that one first. Then from there, I got another video. So I'm gonna go through the two videos that I got. I'm going to play them as I'm watching them. So you're not gonna see the top of my head while I'm watching the video. Then I'm gonna to react to parts of it. So let's get to it. I don't care how old any of us girls are. It is so difficult, I think, to get rid of the flab on our arms when we're waving our arms. While it is hard to get rid of the flab on the back side of your arms, when you develop muscle on your arm and you flex your arm like this, one side is flexed, the other side is relaxed. You've heard me say that in our mobility classes. In order to get one side to relax, you must flex the other side. If you flex and hold, you'll notice, and you may be able to see it, I think it's slightly out of frame, my arm begins to vibrate. When you flex and hold like that, what happens is both sides of the muscle are contracting. So there's nothing loose, there's nothing wiggly on the back side of my arm. So the reason why, the short version as to why your arm wiggles, yes, it could be fat but it could also be the fact that the muscle on the opposite side of your arm is relaxed and it gives that weird wiggly feeling. Everyone gets it because one side of your muscle relaxes, one side of your muscle contracts. And hopefully I can find a video that put right here of a male professional bodybuilder making the back side of his arm wiggle. Um, and if I do, the plus side is you'll see what happens to someone who has very low body fat shaking their tricep. Let's get back to the video. And everyone that knows me knows I am a tank top girl. So I was so excited to know that the M-Sculpt Neo, which I So the M-Sculpt Neo, she had to stop and actually look at the machine to know what it was that she was using. And I have to assume Denise Richards isn't plugging this for free. So keep that in mind too. When someone is using their social media platform to promote a product, especially someone like Denise Richards. I don't know how many followers she has, but it's safe to assume she has quite a few. I've been using it on my tummy and my tushy, that I can use it on my arms. So I am trying it today, and I definitely feel a really hard workout. So it's the first time she says workout. She also says contractions. We're going to come back to that in a second. And the contractions I'm feeling, uh, it's like a really hard workout. And Second time. She said hard workout. And that's helping tone and firm my muscle and to lean my arms out. It is, I definitely feel like I'm having a really hard workout and I am. Third time, she's saying the word workout. So everyone is always looking for that thing that they can do while lying in bed, much like she's doing right now, and getting a workout. Unfortunately, here's the, the rub for all of this. If it was working, I wouldn't have a job. You wouldn't be watching this video and gyms wouldn't exist. I'm gonna be sore tonight, but I cannot wait to see the results. So she's gonna be sore tonight. After one workout, we've all been sore after a workout. There is no change to your body. There's no change to your composition after that first workout. How many of these sessions do you need to do before you see a change? The answer is quite a few. Most of these places are going to sell you packages of 10, 15 sessions, promise you results after your second or third session, and maybe you will feel different, but that is something different. So these devices cause what's called muscle tone. So she's not lying to you. Muscle tone is the pretensed condition of a muscle. What that means is the muscle is ready for its next workout. That is the scientific term of muscle tone. So that's the end of that video. Let's go to the next one. So... This one, there's no real audio to, but you can see that this woman is saying that she is getting 24,000 crunches accomplished. So let's just take for a second what 24,000 crunches worth of muscle contractions would be. You wouldn't be able to move. If you were to do that level of work and truly do 24,000 crunches, your abdominals would be so sore that you would be incapable of moving for somewhere around two to three days. 24,000 crunches is 
pretty much the equivalent number of steps that you would take during a full marathon. How sore are your legs after a marathon? How sore is your whole body after you do a marathon? So you wouldn't be able to move, you'd be stuck. While I agree with some of the things these machines can do, what they're being marketed as is not what they can do.